what is that? It's an aloe. It is an aloe. Perfect timing for an aloe, because I don't think I have a, a 1v1 versus aloe as a conca. I've done some 1v2s and 2v2s and 2v3s unofficial. I don't think I have a, a 1v1. Alright, I'm on my tank Kanka, so I'll be taking a little bit less damage, but means I'll have a harder time getting around the LO. Because if he faces me, I have to get around him. And try to get the claws on the thigh. Yeah, that's the plan. So get around him, get a claw on the thigh, disengage, and hopefully I will only get hit by tail once. So I need to be careful. I don't want to trade two tail attacks for one claw. I want to trade one for one. And eventually that should make me win. Maybe bring him out in the open. Oh, he might be faster than me. I don't have a tail attack, so that means pretty sure I have the tail speed. So that's actually really good. So he can't really chase me forever. I'm gonna use the rock. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna use the rock to get behind him. There we go. Didn't even take a hit from the claw. Right, let's get around him again. Let's see if I can bait him out. Yep, there we go. Oh, and he hit my tail too. That's perfect. Alright, let's use this log. Force him to turn. There we go. So far, so good. Very clean. Oh. Got a turn. I out turn him so he, whenever he chases. Okay, one for one, that's good. Whenever he chases me, Isaac Conker can simply turn in a circle if he's not too close and I won't get hit. Because I out turn him. Unless he predicts which way I turn. go. One for one, good trade. I can just stay behind him for now. Another one for one. Ah, didn't bite my tail. Right now I want to be careful with my stamina. See if I can do another one and I'll disengage. Oh, he might be going to water. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I want to stay close though. I'd love to disengage and get stamina, but if I do that, he's going to sit down and heal the bleed, so I definitely don't want to allow him to do that. Alright, when he's next to the water, what should I do here? This one's tricky. I could try to run around him and if it all else fails, if I screw up the angle of the turn, I can jump into the water because I swim faster than he does. And I can dive, which he can't, so he can't, even if he follows me in the water and bites me, I can just dive and that way not take extra damage. Alright, let's dance around him, see how he turns. Let's see if I can get behind him. That was not good. Fortunately, he bit me instead of clawed me. That's a big... Uh... Well, actually... No, I'd say it's a good thing. It's a good thing. His claw doesn't do too much bleed, but it's still, you know, it's a good chunk of bleed. His bite is also powerful, though. I don't know which one does more damage. I, I gotta chill for now. I can't go in again. Because uh, he can kill me in two hits. Let me get some water and just heal for now. Perfect. 
perfect. He decided to chase me, which he shouldn't have done. Because I, I just outturned him there. Oh. See if he can. Ooh. He's on scars. He's gonna bleed out. There it is. There it is, pretty simple. So that was a mistake he did. He he chased me. I, that's actually I should start using that more often. Eat or maybe even sit like in a distance. Well if he wasn't bleeding I would have sat down and then he starts chasing me away from the water. I can let him chase me and then I turn because I'll turn him, get behind him again. So that's actually neat. I should use that more often. Just bait people to chase me. Alright, that's that's pretty simple, yeah. Conquer versus Alo. Unless he's on the cliff or next to the water. If he's out in the open, it's relatively simple. So long as you trade one for one tail for claw. Not more than that. If you trade two tails for one claw, you're kinda screwed. Not not quite screwed, but uh it's gonna prolong the fight significantly and possibly even force you to lose the fight. Alright. Well, hope you guys enjoyed.